Dobry wieczór. Witamy Państwa serdecznie na corocznym, tradycyjnym spotkaniu klas starszych społecznej jedynki. Wśród wielu zwyczajów i obyczajów szkolnych, bo każda szkoła takie swoje wewnętrzne, świeckie, małe tradycje ma, my mamy taki zwyczaj, że co roku klasy piąte przygotowują przedstawienie dla wszystkich pozostałych klas 4-6, a teraz 4-8. W tym roku jest to wyjątkowe przedstawienie, a w zasadzie przedstawienia, dlatego że mamy aż trzy klasy piąte. W związku z tym, że mamy tak dużo piątoklasistów, wychowawcy uzgodnili, że przygotują dwa przedstawienia. W związku z tym będą mogli Państwo podziwiać za chwilę naszych młodych aktorów na scenie i dodajmy im otuchy brawami. Przedstawię Państwu pokrótce, jak przedstawia się plan naszego dzisiejszego uroczystego spotkania. W pierwszej odsłonie zobaczą Państwo przedstawienie klasy 5a w reżyserii pani Tatiany Łopińskiej pod tytułem Harry the Monster. Dalej nastąpi około półgodzinna przerwa, w której zachęcamy Państwa do skorzystania z naszej oferty kulinarnej. Cały bar znajduje się poza salą teatralną i bardzo prosilibyśmy o to, aby ta część kulinarna odbyła się w tej przestrzeni wyznaczonej właśnie za, za sceną, za widownią również. W dalszej części, po przerwie, zapraszamy po raz drugi na widownię i zobaczą Państwo wówczas przedstawienie dwóch klas. Będzie to The White Snow and Eight Troths w wykonaniu klasy 5C i 5B w reżyserii pani Ani Siciarek. To jednak nie koniec naszych atrakcji, bo skoro już się tu spotkaliśmy w tak licznym gronie, to zapraszamy Państwa jeszcze do dwóch punktów. Kolejny punkt to będą piosenki świąteczne w wykonaniu pozostałych klas, czyli w trzech odsłonach. Najpierw klasy czwarte zaśpiewają dla Państwa to, co przygotowały, następnie klasa szósta wraz z klasami siódmymi i na końcu zaprosimy klasę ósmą do odśpiewania ich piosenki. Po części śpiewanej mamy jeszcze niespodziankę losowaną, o czym przekonają się Państwo dotrwawszy do końca naszych artystycznych zmagań na scenie. Zapraszamy i życzymy miłego wieczoru. Teachers, your, your first day at a new job or meeting new people, feeling different and not sure how others would treat you or if they would accept and like you. Well, Henry, a sweet but very, very blue monster is feeling all of his pigs. He just moved from a special school for monsters to his sister's regular school. He's super excited but totally nervous. Let's listen in to see just what he's thinking this morning. I can't believe this is my first day at my new school. I hope I will be with someone friend. My mom says I'm a pretty cool kid, so hopefully everyone will like me. I know I'm different from other kids, but maybe they won't notice. Hi, little man. Mom says to get up. So, are you excited for your first day of school, or what? Oh my gosh, yes, I can't wait to meet my teacher and make new friends, but... What's up, Henry? I'm just worried that, that the kids won't like me. I know I'm big and different. What if I scare them? I know I'm a little clumsy. What if I fall down and everyone make fun of me? Listen, Henry, every 
everyone's first day at something that's a little tough, but I'll be there if you need anything. And you're a super cool kid. I am in fifth grade and no one will mess with you. I will go to your back, okay? Yeah, I guess so. Just relax, it'll be, go it'll be okay. By the way, mom says breakfast is ready. And oh, oh, oh yeah, I saw Charlotte here, Paul. I had dreadful sweet and kind. People try to st stop and stare, but I pay them no mind. I love swinging and playing for hours, making fights with my mom and picking lovely flowers. I'm as gentle as a teddy bear, always remembering to hug mom with care. Addison, you wrote this for me? Yeah, Henry, I totally believe in you. We all do. Now, get moving. Last one of stars is a rotten monster. Kids, breakfast is ready. Loving home, a place where he is loved for who he is, blue, fair and all. Even his cool older sister seems to support him. But having confidence at home seems isn't and natural. But what happens if we have to go out into the world and face new situations and new people? Do you think it's just as easy to feel strong inside? Let's watch Henry's first school adventure on the bus as Kerry moves into a new part of his life. You know that feeling between happy, excitement and fear? That's exactly what Henry's feeling right now. Good morning, Henry. My name is Jack. Good morning. My name is Henry. Edison, over here. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Oh my gosh. Who is that blue monster? He must be the new kid. I can't believe he just sat next to me in old pit. Is he crazy? Yeah, he's crazy. I wouldn't like to be his fair shoes. But guys, isn't he kind of cool? Hi, my name is Henry. What's your name? Okay, so anyway, this is my first day at your school. I was transferred for a special school. I'm really nervous, but I'm so excited to be here. So, mm, what do you like doing for fun? Okay, I go first. I go first. I love playing with my petrol batteries and mm, I love spending time with my family and mm, I was adopted. I really don't remember meeting my parents, but they love me so much. You were adopted too? I was adopted a year ago. Kids think I'm mean, but I'm just really shy and I don't make friends easily. I think the more others know about me, the more they won't like me. So I don't say anything at all. Oh man, Pete, just silly. We're awesome because we are different and now we have something in common. I know, but sometimes you can be mean. One of the kids, Garth, found out I was adopted and kept teasing me that no one wanted me. It's really hard. I don't understand why kids can be so cruel sometimes. I'm sorry that I happened, Pete, but I'm your friend now and I won't let anyone be mean to you again, okay? Thanks, Henry. That makes me feel better. And it's really nice to meet you. And I love your fur. It's so cool. Yeah, friends. Edison, is that your brother? Sure, it's his last moved from his other school. Wow, his arm um, really different. Is he nice? He looks kind of scary. Is it okay to talk to him? He is different, but he's really the coolest brother ever with the kindest heart. You'll see. Poor Pete, he wasn't being rude to Henry. He just terribly shy and think it is safer to be quiet and to open up to people and risk getting teased. Sometimes it's really hard to understand why people can be mean to others. 
But it's so great that Henry and Pete were able to start a new friendship based on their personal stories. Sometimes opening up to others can help someone as feel more comfortable with their differences. Being perfect is too boring anyway. Let's hope Henry Day gets even better at school. Braiding. Joining three or more pieces of hair or striking like material by putting them over each other in a pattern. Emily, someone who hurts or frightens someone else, often making them do they do not want to do. Grumpy, easily annoyed or complaining. Good morning, students. Good morning, Mrs. Autumn. This morning, we have a very special new student joining us. His name is Henry. Let's all give him a warm welcome today. Be kind, be helpful, be friendly. Henry, would you like to come in front of the class and say a little bit about yourself? Hi, my name is Henry. Henry, not so loud, please. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, my name is Henry Morfield and I moved in, in May. I love cheese sandwiches and fall. I'm blue, fairy and tall. You see, I was adopted when I was free. I know I look scary, but I'm really not. I hope you will like me a lot. Henry, that was a lovely introduction. I'm sure you make new friends here in no time at all. Class, can we give Henry a, a warm round of applause? Hey, Henry, maybe you need to go to a monster school so you can fit better. Yeah, but Poor Henry, he did not expect his new classmates to tease him. He wanted to just cry and go home. Maybe his mom and sister were wrong. Maybe she, maybe he was just a big dumb class, he thought. If you were Henry, how would you feel? Would you want to fight back? Or would you want to just go home and never come out of your room? Or would you hold your head high? It's okay, Henry. Just ignore them. And I have to say, I'm just in love with your fur. Yeah, it's so cool. Can you practice our braiding on it? It's so soft and blue. Ooh, girls. Henry, during the break, do you want to play frisbee with me? That's awesome. You guys are so nice to me. Why wouldn't we be? You're kinda cool. And Garth and Erika are just mean to everyone. Yeah, they always seem grumpy. That's not right. Maybe I should try to talk to them later. Just be careful, Henry. Everyone thinks they're jerks and we stay away from them. Uh, that's not right. Oh no, don't worry about it, Henry. See you at break time. What do you guys think? Why do you think bullies become bullies? Do you think that everyone has a story behind why they choose to be mean to others? Being a bully is a choice. Think about that while we introduce our next scene. Henry is it the, only, the only kid in school who's having a tough time with bullying. Lame, weak, deserve to be good enough to get something. A weirdo, a person who behaves strangely. bakes for me. Your mom bakes cookies this big for you? I wish my mom did. Just watch me. It's super easy. And don't eat it. Hey guys, do you want to play frisbee too? Yes! Oh no! I'm so sorry everyone. That was our only frisbee. And now it's on our roof. I'm so totally awful at playing frisbee. 
It's okay, Kimberly. We'll figure it out. No big deal. Ha, huh. nice throw, Kimberly. That's exactly why you didn't make the cheerleading team. You have zero coordination skills. Hey, Erika. Leave Kimberly alone. Haven't you ever made a mistake? I had that you made. The triangle formation crashed down at your last competition. Now, that's embarrassing. Whatever. That was mean, Jayla. Why did you say that, Jayla? You can't fight bullying with bullying. I was trying to protect you, that she deserved it. Thank you for trying to help me, oh, but so it hurt other people's feelings. I'm okay, really, and I don't think Erika is very happy with herself. Maybe that's why she thinks it's everyone else. Perhaps that's why she is like that. Hey, hey is everything okay? Yeah, Erika and her lambs is called were bullies again to Kimberly. Whoa, does everyone get bullied here? Not all the time, but, but we will kind of learn to stay away from them. Why can you guys tell the teachers? We do, and they are great at helping. But honestly, it's embarrassing, and we don't want Erika and Gav to get even worse. You see, every time we tell on them, they get it back on us. That's not okay. That's not right. But maybe you all know what this. Listen, I bet I can reach the frisbee of the roof for you guys. That was the awesome Henry. Not the only cool thing. Monster is good for reaching to high places. Henry, that's not true. I bet you're great at tons of things. Hey, which one of you was being mean to my sister Erika? Was it freakish monster? It seems like ever since you came to our school, things are different. And I'm not gonna let that happen. You don't belong here. You look different and act weird. And no one likes you. Either start acting like a human or go back whatever monster plan came from. Fight! 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 fight. fight. Garf! Did you seriously just push my little brother? You do know I have a pet belt in karate, right? And I can kick your little... Alison, stop! I'm okay, really! No, Henry, it's not okay. Garf, you and your sister Rick are always bullying everyone, and I am really sick of it. What exactly is the problem anyway? Yeah, really, Henry didn't deserve that. None of us deserve it. You had better let go of us. That's true. We don't need any of you. Just leave us alone. Erika, we aren't getting up on your elder brother. We just understand what about to happen in all the time. We want to understand. You? Seriously, Sky? Listen, your little tiny troll. I hear you didn't even play the best baseball team last year because the bat was too heavy for you. Ha! <laughs> Sky, maybe you just stick to playing with your little dogs and keep your opinions to yourself. That's exactly what we're talking about you too. You start attacking everyone even when even when we're trying to be nice to you. Yeah, well, we don't want your help, okay? We don't know at all anything about our lives. We are sorry, we, we don't understand. <coughs> Just leave us alone, okay? You are all weirdos. We don't need anyone, got it? What just happened? That was crazy. And not to talk about the baseball team. The truth is, I never, never even tried because I was too nervous. Are the batteries that happy? I have no idea what the problem is, but I wanted to tell you. I'm the captain of the softball team, and you totally should join us. We need one more outfielder. And no, the bat is not that heavy at all, and you're not that floor. Your height has nothing to do with the game. In fact, your small size will make you run faster. Really? I never thought of it that way. Awesome. Thanks, Rush. We don't understand. Why does it seem like everyone else helping one another, but those two bullies could maybe work together? How we can help them? Yeah, sounds good. Sure, I'll help. Wow, this is unexpected. The bullies actually have feelings. The rest of the kids did their best to help protect and help each other. Everyone but the bullies. Being a kid is tough. You just want to have fun, make our parents and teachers proud, get a good grade as you like and accepted by everyone. Sometimes being a girl can be especially tricky. Yeah, boys have their problems too, but as a girl I can tell you, 
that it can be frustrating to feel like we're not good enough or perfect enough all the time. Let's see what these girls might be dealing with. Stay afraid, being nervous when you need to act on stage. Struggles, difficult tasks that you can do when you try really hard. <coughs> Self-doubt, when you have no confidence in your abilities and decisions. Courage, when you control your fear in difficult situations. Guys, Ershank out for the talent show. I wanted to, but I don't feel talented at anything. Plus, I'm way too stressed out with my grades lately. Oh, I know. I feel like my test score has to be perfect all the time. Forget the grades. I've been practicing my singing and dancing routine non-stop. But my parents are so busy all the time, so I feel like they don't have time to help me. Yeah, me too. I want to read some more poetry, but I don't think anyone wants to hear what I have to say. You girls feel that way too? I dream about singing on stage, but I'm so terrified that everyone will laugh at me. I wouldn't be able to stand it. I would start crying. You girls think you're not good enough? So listen to this, at my gymnastic practice I did this awesome jump, but I landed wrong and all my teammates started giggling. I was so confident to perform my routine at the talent show, but not now. I feel I will never stand in front of audience or jury. Gabby, come on, you just sometimes don't focus enough and mess up by mistake. That's perfectly normal. Well, I was going to do a magic trick, but if you girls don't feel good enough, no way am I doing it. I'm not going there on my own without your support. Hey girls, what's up? Um, hi Alison, we're just talking about the talent show coming up. Cool, are you going to try out for it? I'm tryout jury. Yeah, well, I don't think any of us are trying out this year. Yeah, no way, cut me out, I'm not doing it. Why, it's gonna be an awesome show, what's wrong? We just don't feel we're good enough. We all worry our grades are that no one will want to see our routines or that they won't be perfect. You know how cool people can be. We should all just miss sleepover that night. A bunch of us who aren't talented enough. Yeah, really, count me in. Yeah, well, just a ton of ice cream and popcorn. And Cheetos and we can watch a movie. The talent show is stupid in a way. Who needs it? Wow, girls, what are you all talking about? I see you girls on the playground dancing and singing. You all look so awesome and confident. You notice us. We don't really think about how we look or this happy new girl thing. Exactly. You don't have to be perfect. You just need to love what you're doing and try your best, whether it's your grade or your talents. You really think so, Addison? We all think you're just the coolest fifth graders so maybe you're right after all. Perhaps we should go for it. That's true, but Erika has been saying well fail at our performance and not to even bother. I wouldn't like to see her laughing at us. Well, Erika didn't even sign up, just so you know. I heard she actually has awful stage fright, and I'm telling you that so we can all try to understand her. That's really sad. We didn't know that. How is it even possible? Yeah, I feel bad now. I had no idea she was afraid of anything. Poor thing. Well, maybe we can all talk to her. Maybe she'll open up. Who knows? Maybe we can put an end to all this bullying. That's a great idea. It makes me nervous, but I'm willing to try. Should we talk to her during the breakers? It seems the right thing to do. Yes. That's awesome, girls. I'll back you up. And as far as the talent show, you girls really need to try out. That's easy for you to say. You're so confident. Um, I wasn't always. I had my own struggles, but my mom worked really hard with Henry and I to love and accept ourselves, no matter what. You girls are all awesome, and I know you all rock at the talent show. Plus, it takes a lot of courage just to get on the stage. That alone is pretty amazing. So you all sign up, right? 
Yes. yes. We should all just miss sleepover after the talent show to celebrate our performances. You girls in? Yes. Well, this was eye-opening. Even those who seem to be popular and confident have times of self-doubt. Do you ever feel unsure of yourselves? We're not the only ones who do feeling not good enough. And when we can talk with another, a magical thing happens. We can create new friendships. So back to these bullies. Open your ears and hearts as we watch what, as we watch what Garth and Erika really feel inside. Compassion, feeling, feeling of sympathy for the suffering or bad luck of others. Graph, difficult or unpleasant. I don't understand, Garth. Why is everyone being so mean to us? I feel like they're all against us. They are all just a bunch of babies. They can't take a job. They all weigh too sensitive and weak. Yeah, I bet all have the perfect little lives. They probably live with both their parents, get big birthdays and tons of Christmas presents. Uh, we only need each other, Erika. And Mom, she needs us to be tough. We need to stick together. I know, Garden, but did you know there's a sleepover after the talent show? Guess who wasn't invited? I want to have friends. I mean, I want to be liked. I feel like they just don't understand us. It's hard at home with mom working two jobs. I feel so alone sometimes. I wish we had friends who understood us and helped us. I know what you mean. The guys at school stay away from me because they're afraid of me. But I'm not mean all the time. I'm just trying to protect us. Remember how the kids treated us at that one school before dad left? They teased us all the time about the divorce saying we were weird and had problems. That really hurt. But I don't think us being the bullies is working there. We gotta start trying to be nice or else we'll never have friends. I don't know what to do. Me either. Even if we try to be nice now, you all probably hate us. Especially Henry. He's actually really cool and different. I wanted to ask him to join the basketball team when I first saw him on the bus, but he ended up sitting next to Pete. I know Pete doesn't like me. He never talks. So I told myself, whatever, if I can join them, beat them. Well, mom isn't home yet. Let's find something to make for dinner and just worry about it tomorrow, okay? I love you, bro. I love you too, my sis. Just us against the world, right? Haha, <laughs> yeah, you're right. This makes you say, There is always a reason behind every mean person. There is a quote that says, hurt people hurt people. Sometimes if we try to understand why someone is hurtful, we can learn to have understanding for them rather than be mean back to them. And this compassion might end the conflict. Love should always win. Let's see if this can actually work. Look at them. They have all accepted this new kid. They will never like you guys. Unless better just stay tough so you never get hurt. Hey guys, remember what we talked about during the break the other day? You mean about strength to help Garth and Devika? Uh, I really don't feel like getting beat up today. He won't beat up, guys. Look at him. So he's over our alone. Maybe he might talk to us. It's worth a try. Sure. What do you will those want? Come back for more trouble? Trouble? We don't want any trouble. We just said hi and how you were. Yeah, we're just, you know, hanging out and rapping a little. Seriously? Whoa, Sebastian, I wasn't gonna hit you. I just got excited when you mentioned rapping. I'm sorry, man. So you like rapping too? Yeah, dude, I love it. I usually make up my own, but I like old school stuff too. That's awesome. Do you wanna rap together? Wait a minute. Why are you guys being so nice? 
Henry, I almost beat you up on a playground. Sebastian, I was teasing you about your height. Pete, I always draw on your locker. Yeah, we know, but we're thinking that there's more to it than just your bullying. Maybe it's worth trying to get to know you. We want you to be our friend, you know? We like you, Graf. You're pretty cool, but you keep pushing us away to everyone. It be mean to it. Guys, I'm really, I'm really sorry. My sister and I, we kind of have a rough right now. We don't see our dad often, and mm, my mom works two jobs. I know it's not an excuse, but it's kind of just us at home most of the time. We're sorry, Gav. We didn't know. Did you know that Henry and I were adopted? Yeah, I guess everyone has their stories. i sorry I tease you guys. I guess I just want to make someone else feel bad, because I felt okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does, man. Listen, what's really important is how well can you rap? Perhaps you can join our band. Man, you got no idea. When I moved to this school, this one song about moving to Utah, it's what got me through. No way. Are you thinking the same song I am? Move if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna, move, move if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna, move, move if you wanna. Look at those girls, they all hate you. They probably all joking about their stupid sleepover party. I don't even know how to stop being me. What if I start being kind and they end start attacking me? I just wish they understood me. Hey, Erika's over there by herself. Here's our chance to talk to her. Hey, Erika, how are you? What do you girls want? Erika, we want to get to know you, but you can be so mean sometimes. It's hard to try to be nice when you're always attacking, attacking us. We want to understand how you are feeling. Yeah, can you help us? If you need to talk, we're here for you. I used to be bullied at my old school. My brother and I kissed all the time. You guys were bullied? Really? What for? My mom and dad were getting bored. It was really hard on us. We didn't spread to tell us that it was all going to be okay. But instead, we got and had problems. That maybe we were the reason our parents split up. Uh, so when we came to this school, we promised each other that we wouldn't let it happen again. We had no. We didn't. We didn't mean to turn into bullies. We had no idea, Erika. We are so sorry. We're only human. No, we're only human and just want to be liked.
misunderstood you. Yeah, Erika, we are all here for you. We feel terrible. No, girls, I'm the one who should say the... I'm sorry. I was trying to protect myself, but that's no excuse to be mean to anyone. Can you all forgive me? Erika, we're having a sleepover party at my house after the talent show. Do you want to join us? Girls, that would be awesome, but I'm not in the talent show. Why not? After how mean I've been to everyone, I'm sure I'd end up being booed off the stage. That's not true, Erika. We all understand what you and your brother are going through now. We all support you. We all here for you. Yeah, and we'll all cheer on at the talent show. You really? I wanted to sing. You guys would support me? Why would you do that for, for me after I've been so mean? We have compassion for you guys. We're all different and we all have our struggles. But if we stick together and support each other, we can get through anything. Speaking of together, since we all are a little nervous, what do you guys think about a group up together for the talent show? Oh, my dear, together is always better. There is no way we can fail our team. Oh my gosh, I have just a song! Isn't this amazing? Those who are bullied were able, have, were able to have compassion for the bullies. You can't fight hate with hate. And see what happened? The bullies were able to open up and dissolve all the hurt and misunderstandings. The result was love, kindness, forgiveness, and new friendships. Now for our final scene, we need everyone to get their dancing shoes on and dance, sing, and cheer with all these classmates.